Dear aspirants, welcome to Doc Tutorial's Quick Learning Bite. Today's biochemistry learning bite is energetics of glycolysis. Now we describe glycolysis under two conditions, the anaerobic glycolysis and the aerobic glycolysis. Under anaerobic uh, conditions, most tissues carrying on glycolysis will generate a net of uh, 2 ATP. However, in the RBC, where the rapaport liberating shunt is operative, the net gain is only either 0 or 1 ATP. On the other hand, in the skeletal muscle, where glycogen is acting as the fuel, the anaerobic glycolysis can produce 3 ATP as the net gain. Going to the aerobic glycolysis, in certain tissues like in the CNS that is brain and the skeletal muscle where the main shuttle is the glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle, the net gain of ATP is 5 ATP. But on in the other hand, tissues where the malate aspartate shuttle is the more important shuttle like the liver, the kidney, the heart, there the net gain will be 7 ATP. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 5 or 7 ATP depending on the cells conditions, the shuttles, the fuel.